My job day to day involves going out onto sites, collecting environmental data, so that's collecting samples of soils, water, air, uh, and then taking that information and synthesising it into um, answers to contaminated land problems. I became interested in working in the area of contaminated land um, because of university. In my first year there was a focus on groundwater. I think like most people I had an awareness of the fact that there, there's a water table but I'd never really considered it further um, and it was just it was just very eye-opening and uh, really sort of piqued my interest. I write and investigate sites and locations. I look at the history of them. Every site is unique and you, you get to tell a new story every time. My favourite part of the job is mentoring people and helping people to, you know, progress in their career. I love the fact that I am dealing with engineering, I'm dealing with chemistry, I'm dealing with biology. I mean, it's just so broad, as well as the understanding of natural, uh, natural processes. It's extremely rewarding to see students that they just take off from a technical perspective. Uh, but also maybe from a career development perspective, when they land a, a brilliant job that you think that they're going to do so much for the society or many societies around the world. In, in research, um, using creativity, using your ideas is really rewarding and um, in an environment where you know, very often uh, you're allowed to, uh, to be creative. In fact, the more out of the box uh, you think, the better. That's actually a very nice thing to do. I mean, certainly as a regulator, if, if you're someone who wants to do kind of good um, and also have kind of an interesting career, kind of working with developers, um, kind of residents, all, all sorts of people, um, then, then it is a really kind of good and rewarding career. My biggest wow moment of my career so far would probably be seeing a contaminated land site for the first time, you know, seeing hotspots dug out, seeing free product in the ground and actually seeing the remediation make a difference. I think it's important people go into the field of contaminated land because it keeps that knowledge out there, keeps that development going and redevelopment, certainly in the cities, you look at the West Midlands, look at inner Manchester, inner any city really, You've got former industrial sites that are sat there derelict, not being used. They're brownfield. They can be redeveloped, reinvigorated, and create new communities. I would love um, so, well, a young student to consider geology as a career path because it's it's just so varied. We can you can follow whatever path you want. There are a lot of contaminated sites in the UK. A lot of brownfield developments. There's all sorts of reasons why brownfield redevelopment is preferential in many different ways and contaminated land is an intrinsic part of that, being able to you know, responsibly clean up that land.